All right, power one, welcome. I've done finance maybe three times. Now I'm doing is on my spirit this morning. Happy Saturday to you. Finance and romance. That's all I know. I'm just going to see what the cards pick up, and that's all I'm going to say. Okay, finance and romance. Finance and romance, whatever that means. Finance and romance. Finance and romance. <clears throat> whatever that means, whatever I see. Never done it before. Only take about 10%. Say this shit don't belong to me. Keep it moving. Finance and romance. Help me get out of self. Help me get out of ego. Help me provide love, encouragement, support. Finance and romance. Three pounds. What do you mean by finance and romance? Put these over here. Finance and romance. What do you want them to know? People chose power one. Finance and romance. Ooh, ooh, you real dreamy. You real dreamy when it comes to finance. Grass is green on the other side. A lot of glitter with glitter and gold. Ooh, honey, I feel like you have a lot of punk. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel like you have a lot of punk um, ass promises when it comes to um, when it comes to money and finance and romance. I think that you think the grass is greener on the um, on uh, the um, everything that glitter is in gold, um, and um, and you have unrealistic expectations. And then I see right here, you could buy into you know the party scene, the gathering scene. Uh, you could be trying to um, compete. Um, you know, with your friends from your family, or you could be the big, the big shot. You know how the big shot comes around. You know, you big pimp and big spender. Um, you know, and um, or you could have friends who um, masquerade like they have a lot of money, they have a lot of wealth, they have a lot of connections. You could get very, very um, excited about that, or you could be that type of person. Um, you could meet men, women, date these type of people, engage, affiliate with these type of people. Why I say that? Because you started off with the seven of cups. Seven of Cups and the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups talks about reconciliation. It talks about a gathering, a reunion, if you will, a celebration, a festival, a good time, you know, partying, you know, just a whole nine. Is that? I thought I seen two to two in the clock. And I think that when you get with um, people, family, friends, um, and say they introduce you to someone, maybe you're looking for that type of mate, that type of person, that type of partner. Um, and then when they introduce you, you think, you know, um, everything that glitter is gold through affiliation and this man or woman might not even have the money or the access or the means um, like you think because they were talking about money romance finance or you could be that you could feel like when you come around um you know um they expect you to be this bigger than life type um, man or woman. Now, you, that don't mean that you're not ambitious. That don't mean that you're not successful. I just don't think it's at that level. So if you are very, very rich and you're wealthy and you're hanging around that milieu of people, that means that you definitely need to be there. But you could live outside your means. You know what I mean? You could not really have all the money and the finances to be able to, um, you know, you know stay at that level now but now if you don't you just work a nine to five or you just got gigs or something like that i think that um you know like i was saying the seven eight, everything that glitter is in gold and you you maybe you put on this act or people put on this act and you're three 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 on the clock two 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 on the clock and so you're more drawn to those type of people the everything that glitter is in gold the party the celebration the hype the glamour you know the every, you know that whole life that whole life and then when you go home you know you're barely um trying to make ends meet you're trying to hold on to this money you're trying to figure um things out maybe you wear nice clothes maybe you know may I, I don't know let me just get some more cards so when it comes to finance and romance what am i looking for i think you're more of a everything that glitter is in gold um um type um man or woman and have really unrealistic expectations a lot of fantasy a lot of dream a lot of romantic illusions um a lot you know all right so let's see and i could be wrong <sighs> yeah look at that i think you have a lot of regret you could you could um you could have not you you, you could be very poverty conscious very you know or you exaggerate or you could be very, um, you know, come from humble beginnings and you want success and you want ambitions so bad, but you want people to see you. You might have relocated, changed your phone number, something like that. But you could be a very, very much an opportunist. You could want people to see you could be a late bloomer. So when it comes to a lot of these cups, a lot of you could be Cancers, Pis Pisces and Scorpios or you, you, you're around these type of Maluga people who are very flip floppy in energy, very sneaky, very creepy. Um, why I say creepy? I'm sorry. Maybe they embellish. Maybe they 
pretend like they have all this and all that. And it could just be very, very much basic and average type people working a nine to five. But then when you guys all come together, it's like, see, see something is hidden. I mean, because it may even pay attention to this five of cups. Um, so, you know, you could be lacking. You could make some bad business investments. You could be an opportunist. You could have hurt somebody. You could have married somebody or date people for money. Because we're talking about romance and finance. For love, for financial, um, not for love, for, for money, for financial gain, for affiliation. You could have overlooked people um, because um, that was more important to you, that image, you know, um, keeping up with the Joneses, which they don't uh, exist. And if you're going to do Puffy um, um, Jones and 18 plus adult material language, you know where I'm going. Um, but at the end of the day, I just think that there's some regret here because you could be trying to show and prove. You could be trying to be bigger than life. And that is not your reality. That is not your reality. You could get very, very starred eye. You could um, not, you could... You could have been poverty conscious and you don't want to live that kind of life anymore. So I just think when it comes to romance and finance, you could be a very, very emotional um, type um, man or woman. And that's how you connect um, to money. Um, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it becomes emotional. You know, you maybe you, you, you feel alone. You feel like you're struggling. You feel helpless. You don't like to ask for help. So you maybe you do things that... You know, um, this is me. Um, you proclaim who you are, so you need people to see you, to know you, that you made it. But it's really a lot of um, selling people in an illusion, right? So if you're dating somebody, they might think that you have a way more as men and women because maybe you wear Gucci, maybe the people that you affiliate with. Uh, sorry, I just I'm doing my reading, but I think it's a lot of illusion. It's a lot of snakes. It's a lot of lies. It's a lot of fantasy. It's not realistic. Um, and, uh, and that could be from your childhood. Maybe you didn't have a lot to eat. Maybe you didn't have a lot of clothes. Um, maybe you were born with a silver spoon, but you don't have that anymore. You can't keep up to that level. So when you date or you marry or, or you, you know, or, you know, whatever, because we're talking about romance and finance, you really try to keep this illusion. And I think it's very, very hard. I am so sorry, um, Pal One. Um, I'm, but I'm trying to, you know, I, like I said, I've never done romance and finance as a title. But I think a lot of everything that glitters in gold here. Yeah, and I think it has a lot to do with you coming up in a dysfunction in a childhood and the connections that you make um, with money. And I think that um, um, the connections that you make with money has a lot to do with, could be poverty conscious, you know. Um, you could think long term. You could be about savings and value. Or you could, it could be a catch-22. You could value um, your security. So you, you're more thrifty, more conservative. But then you don't really travel you don't really um budget you don't really you know um get to accumulate um the the things that you really want because you're maybe you live maybe you live from check to check or you overspend or you're or maybe somebody might have told you you're very very thrifty um it's like in a way it's kind of good in a way because you you know you know that you don't maybe you know that when you accumulate money you're being conservative you'll have some for the long term but then if you think too much and you're poverty conscious you're not really enjoying it or if you're trying to impress people it's like i feel like there's no balance there's no balance here and i and i, and I don't know you know you could be a hoarder um or you could be very very um you know big spender you ever see that big spender the drinks on him drinks on her everybody know my drink you know when i come around they know i got gucci's and fine shoes and clothes and hats and stuff but you get home and you got to pay that bill and that gas bill and that mortgage or you know your car broke down or something like that or you could be not you know maybe not really a gift giver and you're always budgeting and and you know and you're thrifty and you know and you don't really live and travel or something like that somewhere there's a connect that's emotional that came from childhood or just some kind of dysfunction look at that um finance and romance i haven't even flipped the cards this is my trickery card this is my deceptive card this is my lying card this is my narcissist tendency card this is betrayal this is um, you know deception and i just think you sell people a bill of goods or they sell you a bill of goods so romance and finance is that you're more eager to be attracted to men and women who you know showboat give off this illusion that they have um that everything glitter is in gold but there's really no no love there there's no no warmth there's no substance so you could date um you know you could date and marry people or you know hook up with people who really really act like they're bigger than life but they actually don't really have any substance i don't know it could be a lot of trickery or you could be this kind of person i'm sorry to give you one more <laughs> i'm sorry pal one i'm going to end this because i don't finance it nice 
fuck boy, fuck girl, 18 plus dogs here on language. Yeah, like, I just think it's a lot of, it's a lot of illusion. You know what I'm saying? So, if I got with you as a man or a woman and I go, who did you date? Oh, I dated him. I dated her. I'm dating this person now. Or I married this person. And then when I peel the onion back and I feel like, well, they work like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, they have payments or they, you know, they don't really have that much and through affiliation. But who are they when they stand alone? This could be you. You know what I mean? And it could be motivated by sex. It could be, you know, um, a lot of indulgence. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. It could be a lot of indulgence. It could be a lot of wishful thinking. Um, yeah, I just, I just feel like, um, it, you know, like you're seeking like some kind of satisfaction that you that maybe you weren't born into. <sighs> that makes sense. I feel like I'm being very, very cool. Um, I just don't feel like you're 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 born into this lifestyle that you that you feel that you so much deserve. I think that you want to bling. Um, I think you want to be comfortable and, 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 and some of you could be, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just don't, I just don't feel it in these cards. I feel like it, there's, there's a want here. Um, you know, maybe you're performers. Um, maybe, you know, you do people some favors. Um, you know, I think that even if negative consequences come out of this, why am I adding up the cups? Why am I nine could mean something to you? Um, you could like buy yourself or buy other people's allegiance. I'm talking about financial money or act like you're very connected or through affiliations. You might have some, you know. Um, I think you could live outside of your means. I think your gratification and desires is more important than substance, right? Um and I think some of the choices that you make could cause you some financial distress. Only because I got the Knights of Wands. And I could be wrong. Let me give you one more card. Yeah. I think a lot of choices that you make cause you... Because I think it's a lot of fantasy and it's a lot of illusions when it comes down to money, finance, and affiliation. That's, that's all I have to say. And it could be you or the people that you date, marry, or something like that. But somewhere there's some decept, deception and there's uh, everything that glitters and gold here. Power one. Let me give you one more. I could be wrong. Um, what's finance and romance? What do you want, me, want them to know? And I could be wrong. Ooh, honey. Ooh, honey. Hold on, y'all. Ooh, honey. You could be... This, oh, this, goes, this is finance. This is the only thing I see um, for finance. Because these are like... This is the wands. Right? And this is the six of chalice. I mean, the seven of chalice. And this is the three of chalice. See, now, the people in this pound... I think you could be very, very attractive men and women. So you could masquerade a lot of things very, very well. But I also think that you could be, you could have money, you could be very wealthy, or you could be minimum, or you could be the type of person, like you like people know that you went and you gave to the poor, you volunteered for the homeless, or you was giving out food, or, you know, or something like that, um, or you could have a little bit of money, or, or maybe not. Um, this is like this could be seen as a philanderist. I can never say that word. A person like giving. See, they're giving elms like bread, food, time, something like that. But I think you have a, your own agenda. I think there's a, a hidden motivation because it could be a business transaction. It could be you know sexual agenda, some kind of hidden motivation um, in these charitable acts that you do. And it's kind of aligning with the romance. So you could meet people on the premise that you have a lot of money, that you're a giver, that you're this big spender, big pimping. You got it all together as a man a woman you're doing that but i feel like it's really an illusion now that doesn't mean that you're not successful but i think it's just as how you got it you could have got it in so many you could have got it in a deceitful way you could have got it by um you know um compromising your friendships your family um you could have got it by compromising your integrity um you could have got it by being very dreamy um making bad investments um uh, or some kind of unrealistic expectations um or, you know taking advantage of people just some kind of business transaction you could have married into wealth you could date people that have money um because um if they have money or through affiliation we're going to use money as an affiliation to networking or something like that because it's still you know it's, it's like a paper trail you know because it'll get you connected but there's always a motivation there's a motivation. So if you're dating or marrying or talking to someone who's talking about love and finance, you can best believe they're connected to somebody or they know somebody or something like that, right? Now, see, I would have a hard time falling in love with you guys 
as men and women because I don't see you wanting someone for substance, you know, or, you know, somebody that you can, you know, really love and, and that you can maybe grow together or, they, or you know, it's not a fantasy or it's not an illusion. Yes, you need money, um, you know, because you can't survive, you know. Well, you can if you're a nomad and you're living. And I take that back because you could be living in a third world country and these people are very, very much happy. But I think this whole... This whole persona right here, romance and finance, is it definitely comes hand in hand. This is the, the epitome of romance and finance. I think that you do look for people who have money, affiliation, some, something that you can benefit um, from. I'll give you one more card, and I could be wrong. Something, because I, I feel like I said, this is a, I keep saying the thing, this is a, everything that glitter is in gold, uh, a lot of real unrealistic ex, um, expectations, um, you know, um, a lot of charitable um acts of service that you do but you're getting you're wanting something out of it like you could be standing in front of people i do this and i do that but you can best believe my right foot is burning you're getting something out of the relationship um you know or the connection even though we're talking about finance and romance right let me give you one more romance and finance this is hard <sighs> tina um uh, romance and finance i think that um that you could marry for money and love right look this is a ten of um um, 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 cups. There's a lot of cups. Some Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, so I might be getting them wrong. There's a lot of cups here. I think that you could be, you can be very much happy marrying for love, romance, and finance. I don't know why. I think that money is plays a really important part. Look at that. I think you like a lot of bling. Um, I don't know if you have bling. Some of you could have bling. I think you like a lot of bling. Oh, oh I need my um, first black. Oh, hold on, y'all. I think you could be um, very confident, very comfortable. You like that glamorous life. You could work really, really hard, so you want to enjoy the fruits of your labor. And I think it pays off. I think that if it's not, just so y'all know on a tidbit, a lot of the stuff that y'all are doing is going to come into fruition. Um, some of you got money or you got savings. Um, you could like to indulge in the finest things, life, clothes, cars, you know, travel, jewelry, um, you know, um, good restaurants and stuff like that. And I feel like you feel like you deserve it, right? This is the type of power. I just don't see you marrying lower or dating lower. I think that romance and finance plays a part. So somebody has to be able to bring something to the table. And I think finance affiliation and connections is very, very important to you. I wouldn't be surprised if people that you date aren't very, very attractive in the face. So why well, I don't know why I gotta say that. But through affiliation, it, it gave them a level of um of um, elevation, like, well, he or she does this, or, you know, or they're singers, or they're writers, or, you know, they're doctors, something like that. Through, I see a lot of affiliation and networking and romantic illusions. So, uh, you know, I like this man, he's a doctor, or, you know what I'm saying, or he's the president or something like that, you know what I mean? And so through affiliation, I think romance and finance plays a part. And you could very much um, be happy with these type of people solely because it's not based on love. It's based on a lot of romantic illusions and everything that glitters and go. And I could be wrong. Give you one more card. This shit is hard. And I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't see any provider type. Look at that. Nice of pinnacles. Okay, Ace of Swords is my sword of truth. I don't see like, oh, look at that. The lovers. Oh my God. I didn't see that come out. Oh my God. I think it's overwhelmed, burdening. I do. I think it's a struggle to keep up this image. Um, you could be very much in love with someone else, um, but you <clears throat> you could be very much in love with someone else and want this kind of life. But when it comes to decision, you could go more through affiliation and association. A lot of everything glitters and gold. I keep saying the same thing. And this is the Knights of Pentacles. This is the lowest um, um, money thing in the deck, but, but and the card in the deck. But it talks about ascending in a time when everybody's not making money. So I always go back to the 1930s. What is it? Rosie Rivet, the galosh days, the galosh shoes and shit like that. Um, you know, where the women, the men went off to war. The women had to go into the industry and they had to work. And then some people had a little bit of money and they took it and they invested in all that property that people were losing. And then they ascended in that time. They became very wealthy. And that that could be your personality but that's slow so you have to decide like am i trying to take the slow route because this is the knight of pentacles um and then the knight becomes a king um and then and he can become, become an empress emperor and i think this is the only knight that can become a king if i can remember because i used to remember that um so but uh, you could be very hasty and and this is the lover's card where you have a decision where you maybe you might date someone that has the money the affiliations the finance to finance your 
your career, your stability, um, you know, your travel, your goals, your clothes, your height, the glamour, the bling, where you were you not really looking at the love, the substance. You get what I'm saying? Uh, or you can choose wisely and you can ascend very slow and you can build together and it doesn't have to be a hidden motivation. It doesn't have to be sneaky. Um, you know what I'm saying? You can celebrate and rejoice in your fruits of your labor and it's not um, everything that glitter and gold romanticized um, type um, financial stability. And I could be wrong and this shit is hard and I, I don't know what I'm saying, but I do feel like you have a choice. And I think you know very much well the type of caliber of people that you date, that you allow in your life. But I definitely feel like romance and finance has a lot to play, but I feel like it, it, it here, but I don't feel like it has a substance right because i don't think that um i think that they're both the same like i said i don't see you dating um someone out of love sincerity i think that they had to bring something to the table and if they it, it, and if they i feel like they, you I, this is a per this is a pal where either this you're that type of person like you sell people a bill of goods you're not really the man or woman who you say you are and re retrospect in that type of level of wealth or stability or security or you meet people who sell you a lot of bills of goods you know what i mean that snake oil and you really buy into it and then when you start unveiling the onion you're like oh my gosh it's not really like that and so that's why you have to choose wisely right okay i could be wrong i'm gonna put it out there sounds so this really sounds okay let's do this it sounds really difficult for me what is this yeah i just feel like it's burden it's it's really hard to try to get that stability and, and try to keep up to that level you could deal with a lot of pride a lot of ego hon let me see these for these cards honey i gotta do two more of these piles i don't know what the hell i'm saying i gotta do two more of these what romance and finance what do you want them to know it's a lot of illusion everything the glitter and gold shit i don't care if you're wealthy middle class average um poor struggling i don't care i just think that everything that glitter is in gold here is there's a lot of um expectations um that um aren't um being met it's, it's, a, it's a very unrealistic um reality that you have put yourself in and i feel like you have to always try to live up to that okay let's see what's the romance and finance that you want me to to get across to power one Oh, I got to do two more. Oh, shit. That fell. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to end this. Did we get seven of cups twice? Did we get seven of cups twice? <laughs> yes, it's just a, everything that glitter isn't gold. And this is a fantasy. It's an illusion that you that you sell yourself or, or people sell you or you sell it to them. Right? So when it comes to money and finance um this is a lot of illusions here there's like i keep saying the same there's a lot of unrealistic expectations that's all you need to know because this is two seven of cups look at that and the tsunami and then you got to keep up with those lies and they're like a tsunami getting ready to um you know um you know cover her but then she looks like she's on solid ground you might want to look up starfish i think starfish is something good um uh, it's a really a fantasy you know what i mean you could be a person that's a late bloomer or you could be going through midlife crisis. You know, you're always reinventing yourself. How can I get this? How can I showboat this? How can I showboat that? But at the end of the day, and I'm saying showboat, which is funny. I think that at the end of the day, you have to go through life and experience it and just be grateful and thankful for what you have and realize that, um, you know, wealth and treasure and, and, and romance, you know, comes with substance and intimacy and foreplay and effective communication and not, um, you know, lying and being deceptive and manipulating or painting a picture of who you're not really you know what i mean and i think that you would have a better outcome with romance and finance um i think that because you paint this illusion or you date people like that i feel like you're all you always in some mess or some drama look at the five of wands i think it keeps you up it causes you some psychological emotional physical um even some financial stress or it could cause them i hate medusa's head look at the snakes and stuff i think at one time when you had um the financial piece or the mental stability in regards of how you look at finance I think it was very good. I think it was very stable. And um, but I think at the, at, I think as time went on, it doesn't matter what age, you lost sight of what was important and maybe finance and, and glitter and fame and becoming successful and being very ambitious was more important than love, um, substance and you get what I'm saying and stuff like that. And I feel like it causes you some heartache, some grief, you know what I mean? But if you're so consumed of being ambitious, you could be a person that's an opportunist, you could walk over people, step over people, you don't care about their feelings 
or you allow people to do this to you because we're talking about romance and finance now if you chose wisely you know and and, and dated and, and married and you know people with substance because it's a lover's card you would be more um inclined to be work towards your goal your purpose and it would be divinely ordered and the abundance and the wealth and the stability and the um breaking poverty um conscious mindset would all be you know um it, it wouldn't be there right you would have the bling you would have the comfortable life it would be very um fruitful but i think the people who chose this power you sometimes you might like the easy way out or you present yourself as a certain package or the people that you're attracted to they present this package to you you could be gullible naive or you can know exactly what it is it could be some kind of business transactions like say you're working with somebody so you have to be appeased this man or woman because you need them for something and whatever you need them for it elevates you it puts some money in your pocket or give you some fame some prestige or something like that but it's really not founded it's very um, on substance it's founded on a fa faulty ground one stay out of my energy i don't understand your money and finance and i could be wrong but you got two or seven cups and get your last card <sighs> yes and i think you know it gives you pause money and finance money and romance <laughs> romance and finance what is this oh the justice card <sighs> the justice card talks about balancing something um looking at the truth looking at both sides it talks about um debt um you know karmic debt that you built up and that you have to pay for or that you get your um you know you, if somebody did you wrong but it came upside the justice card came upside down so i just feel like um you could you could learn a lesson but you could repeat the same cycle right i don't know what it means upside down I'm just doing you could learn your lesson about money and finance and then you go back and be same attracted to the same type of men same type of women or you marry the same type of um women and men and you date that because romance is fine like i don't really feel like you learn your lesson um to that extent i'm gonna give you one more card and flip the card and i've been drinking water so i gotta use the bathroom mm -hmm. flip the card in front of you Oh, temperament. Oh, forget. I'm just going to end it. Um, yeah, so I feel like you have to change. You have to change. You have to make the connection. Um, yeah, because, you know, it talks about um, patience and change and getting away of the old way of thinking and that cardinal mind and that robot mind that the Bible talks about the flesh. Um, you could like a lot of indulgence. You could like a be, um, you know, you, you know, you could like a lot of wealth, a lot of bling, a lot of hype. Um, you could be very, very ambitious. Um, I can't even think of words. Like you, you could like the finer things in life and nothing wrong with that. Or you want people to see you bigger than life. You know what I mean? But there have to be some changes. And in order to get that um, changes, you have to make the connection. And I think you do um, as men and women because the just came, card came upside down. But I think you could be very resistant to the change, to seeing um, the, the reality. And I think that you keep repeating the same cycles. You keep attracting the same type of men and women or marrying them or dating them or whatever whatever and you're still missing the connection um because the bible talks about um the richest of the wicked is set up for the righteous so i feel like even if you become successful or you are successful now or whatever i think it, it keeps getting taken away and it's given to symbolism energy to people who um deserve it who are maybe more righteous who are more holy who are more understanding and and and, and i'm saying it's symbolism so say you overlook the good man or good woman and you decided to stay with this man or woman or you pick somebody else over them or you marry somebody else over them it's going to be good for a while you know maybe you're doing good big houses boats cars cars you know fame walking in the room fortune height whatever your success is but i feel like it gets taken away because that was not the person um who you are supposed to really be with um and i feel like you keep bumping your head until you make the connection that finance and romance um is not um built on um unrealistic um, expectations and everything that glitters and gold but it's more on stability and providing and um it, it, you know and maybe enhancing um, your way of life, but not your whole who you are. Okay, I'm sorry, and I'm messing that up. Um, and once you make that connection, and it seems like every time I'm doing financial reading, I always got to do some preaching and stuff. Um, and my reading's anxious, and answers y'all making me look crazy here. But I think they want you to get the connection that it's not about. Um, I think I'm gonna add some emojis. It's not about um, what you think it is, and that's why you always losing it, or you gain and you get very very excited, and then you wonder why it's slipping away, or you you're meeting financial struggles and you know things like that i don't know I'll give you one more card last card romance of finance temperament card so you have to change 
<coughs> excuse me. God bless you, Gazunta. You have to um, change your um, your mindset when it comes to finance and romance. And what's this one? You got five of cups twice. You gotta be kidding me. Remember, I seen the five of cups, and I just I was drawn to it. So five of cups talks about regret. I can't find it in my deck. Five of cups talks about regret. Um, you know, loss, um, breaking generational patterns of behaviors that are passed down, maybe how you see money, how you value yourself. You could have a lot of regret. You could have a lot of uh, remorse. You could have made a lot of bad financial decisions. You could have picked money and finance over people. You could have, or, or they, or, or they done it to you. And so you feel rejected. And then maybe you feel like you have to keep up with the Joneses. I got five of cups twice. Now people going to say, why did you just look at it? We don't have to flip a card, but maybe new people are looking in and going, well, she just turned it over. But we're readers and we're psychics and we're seers and shit like that so we just fill the card and i was drawn to five of cups so you got it twice and uh and so that is saying that you have some regret you realize that maybe money because the bible says the love of money right is the root of evil maybe you look at wealth and money um that makes is who you are maybe that's how you define your you know your ego how you value yourself how you value your self-worth um you know hold on y'all um how you value yourself here it goes how you value yourself how you value your self-worth um and there's nothing wrong wanting to you know have money and and have wealth and have stability um and have relationships and stuff like that i just think that um and this five of cups twice i think that um you went about like i just feel like you went about it the wrong way and i feel like you lost focus right because you could be very ambitious you like challenges you could figure it out um you know um but at the same time i think that there's a hidden agenda um that you miss um, because you equate it to the, your past or you mean, like I said, you know, maybe you didn't have a lot of money. Maybe you did. Maybe you want to be a big spender, you know, maybe you value security, you know, and maybe you think for the long term. So it makes you kind of thrifty and being conservative. Maybe you have some kind of fears when it comes um, to money, like losing in a poverty conscious, but then it's a catch 22 because maybe that's good. Maybe you want to fam you think about retirement and your family budget and accumulate, you know, and, and, you know, you steady increase your net worth, but then at the same time, you're not really living or or how you're choosing your partners and you could be kind of miserable you know kind of thrifty kind of cautious um you know um you could cut out a lot of pleasures and maybe gift giving and fun activities or you know what i mean or you could go above and beyond and do too much and buying everybody a drink and traveling too much and excess and hoarding possessive there's a lot of stuff going on here and i feel like um you know maybe the, like i said the, how much money you earn you feel like maybe you did a better a partner or better um you know person that you're attracted to or you could be very much poverty conscious when it comes to finances you want to be the big spinner the big provider so you find somebody that maybe you feel like that you're bigger or better than or more financially stable so you make them feel like they're codependent on you see this is the five of cups this could go anyway but this is this is not a good card because it talks about regret or remorse and breaking generational pattern this is the way i learn it generational patterns and behaviors and curses and, and things that we pass down or that we learn and i think that when it comes to money it finds and romance you got it all um, um disembobulated it's all screwed up it it, it 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 doesn't make sense because it was passed down or it's something that you're trying to prevent um in the future that you don't ever want to experience again but you're losing sight of substance intimacy and picking partners out of integrity and character if that makes sense right um and that doesn't mean that you're not famous i want to make sure i say that and that doesn't mean that you're not successful or you're wealthy or anything like that and that's not what i'm saying and that doesn't mean that the people that you pick aren't good people but i think it's more motivated with the good everything that glitter is in gold when it comes to romance and finance and i could be wrong and there's a tear there and i'm going to say this real quick i feel like somebody is struggling financially i feel like you're having a hard time asking for help um i think you made some bad investments i think you're losing some things um some gigs some friends some family some relationships because i think your whole persona was about wealth and money and finances and so i just want to say that i hate to be the bearer of bad news but i just feel like um you know let me just ask about your money situation i feel like if you go back and get back grounded and see what's um get back focus um and understand that money doesn't make you you know what i'm saying um i don't know it's a lot going on here yeah yeah you know you can make some good investments hard work you know accumulate let me see what's anything about their money because other than finance 
Yeah, see, and then you can walk into this emperor energy, which she's a symbolism of abundance. And I talked about character and integrity. And she talks about character and integrity and being kind and loving and forgiving and compassionate. She also has a big harvest. It's a Taurus sign. You could be, you no know, a Taurus. Maybe I'm a Taurus. Maybe a Taurus can give you some advice. Or maybe you're in love with a Taurus because we're talking about romance and finance. And I think you need to go toward this empress type energy and plant these good seeds so you can get this good harvest. Um, and then you can bling out and you can live large because she's living the largest you can live right but she did it on integrity and so i think that that's where you lost focus when it comes to um you know love and finance and and stuff like that and i could be wrong and so because i think i was saying that not going off on a tangent and then you can be you'll be very comfortable you you, you know you you definitely earn the fruit, fruits of your labor it doesn't have to be physical work it could be mental but it's all based on um like integrity and it's very solid um you know you, your, your savings and you can have the finer things in life and you can indulge and in, you know whether it's home travel jury cards um you know good restaurants you can, people can be a benefactor of you know of you know your real estate you know your property you can leave a long legacy some kind of estate you can secure um you know a real fan foundation um you know you'll be able to accumulate wealth through good good investments good loving relationships and not founded on you know um like falsehoods and lies and betrayal and deceit or or being opportunists or using people and shit like that right you know what i mean or bragging or, or pretending to be somebody that you're not living outside of your wealth but if you embody this empress energy it's more symb symbolism of abundance right it's money side ab abundance and it's founded on integrity and stuff like that so when you date and find romance and stuff that might play a part of why your relationship seem like when the money run out the person is gone or the, or the, you know how they say look at that that's my left hand honey i'm about to get me some my left hand mean i'm waiting on money i'm gonna get some my right hand been um, itching um all week <laughs> and big daddy called me so i'm like ooh. so my hand is itching so you could be waiting on some money it's funny because it's, it, it's, it's itching so you could be waiting for some money you could be in some financial um stress i just think that once you make the connection that you can't use people you can't lie you can't embellish or you can't uh, um work yourself to the bone where you're not really actually living right because you don't have to be using it. only take about 10 percent to say this shit don't belong to me and understand that connection with romance and finance I think that you'll fare better and you'll get more blessing. Your harvest will be better and it'll last. It'll last, right? Later.